everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all both of these perfume houses shall we say have been requested of me to talk about one more so than the other uh, the first one we're going to talk about, I hauled and then I forgot to put it in another video because I misplaced it. And somebody in the comments was like, oh, I'm really looking forward to that review. And I felt so bad. And then I said, oh, well, maybe I can wait until my next random review Wednesday. I don't know when that's going to be. So I decided to combine that fragrance with Letta because the Letta fragrances are have been requested for me to talk about for a minute. I just never got around to doing it. And I decided, I saw that they had, well, I discovered that they had a discovery set. And I said, well, okay, let's give them a try. So to get started with this video, let me tell you what is on my lips. I'm wearing the Guerlain Lip Oil in 309 Honey Glow. And I'm noticing when I hold this up to the uh, camera, and when I'm editing, you all can't see it anyway. So of course it will be linked below. And this is what's on my lips. And someone was asking me, girl, you got a lip liner? No, if I don't mention a lip liner, that means I'm not wearing one. So when I tell you all my lip combos, cause you all requested me to do that, I tell you everything I'm wearing. So if I don't mention a lip liner, I'm not wearing one. That means this is all that's on my lips. Uh, in this video. Okay, so the first fragrance we're going to talk about is Lake and Sky 1111 Vanilla Eau de Parfum. So I picked up the travel spray because I'd heard people talking about this. I was interested in it uh, because people were, I don't think this got much hype or anything, but from the people that I watched, I was hearing about it. I'd never heard of 1111. I think this is the second fragrance of the 1111 line, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, vanilla caught my eye. So, you know, I was curious about this house, but I wasn't willing to purchase summer or freshy type fragrances that I was researching because, you know, I wasn't. I was ready to purchase for fall season. So this is the travel spray that I picked up at Ulta. Lake and Sky 1111 Vanilla has notes of vanilla creme, marshmallow, fresh star apple, sea salt, and a signature musk. And it says to create the feeling of being wrapped in cashmere. So for some reason, you all, I cannot find this fragrance on Fragrantica. So I believe it was released this year in 2024, but this, these are the fragrance notes that I got off of Ulta's website. So I have sprayed, I have tested this at home. I have not worn this out in like a layering combo or out for a day, but I do have my thoughts. So when I first smelled this uh, 1111 vanilla, I was disappointed the first time I tried it. And then I said, well, let me give it another go because I've had it for a minute. I just got behind, other videos took precedence. And um, I said, let me give it another go. Let me wear it throughout the day at home so I can really, you know, get my final thoughts on the fragrance. So when it starts out, you know, it has the notes of vanilla creme, marshmallow. But what I get in the forefront is that sea salt and the signature musk. Like, I guess it's their spe special musk they have for this fragrance. Or maybe they're known. I'm sorry of my ignorance. <laughs> maybe they're known, the house, lake, and sky for musk, and I'm unaware. Like, when I think of musk and someone who's known for musk, I think of Narciso Rodriguez. But maybe lake and sky is known for it, and like I said, I'm unaware. So that's what I get in the forefront, okay? Especially on the tester strip. On my skin, it did sweeten up. Now, you know me. I, I predominantly, the main reason I purchased this fragrance was for the marshmallow note. 
when I smell elect clean, uh, when I what is his name? It is when I smell eleven eleven vanilla. I don't think marshmallow on my skin. I feel like I get a sweetness, but predominantly I still get musk. I think of a clean, musky, semi-sweet type of fresh vanilla scent. I don't even know if I think of really marshmallow at all, of how I would view a marshmallow scent. What do I have written down here? Oh, have you all heard, if you've, I think I've reviewed this fragrance. I know I've talked about it. The Dolce by Rosie Jane. That fragrance is known to be, people say, you smell like vanilla ice cream, you smell so delicious. And you know, so I purchased the travel spray and I did not get that from that fragrance. Again, I got a clean type of fresh vanilla scent. It grew on me and I, I came to really enjoy it. Still haven't purchased a full bottle, but I did like it. 1111 doesn't smell exactly like Dolce by Rosie Jane by my memory, but it gives me the same vibe. Just add musk because I don't remember musk really in Dolce by Rosie Jane, but I do get, like I said, that signature musk is kicking. As Vanille would say, it's thumping in 11-11 vanilla on, my, on the tester strip and on my skin. Now, it's finally starting to sweeten up a little bit on the skin. So, I wore this. I got four to six hours wearing it, not spraying heavily. Not spraying how I would normally spray this fragrance because I was just at home testing it out. I wasn't going out. When I'm not going out somewhere, I'm not spraying, spraying, spraying like I normally do when I'm just staying at the house. So I got four to six hours. I feel like I would get, probably I probably could get eight hours with this fragrance if I really went to town spraying it. Almost kind of, okay, clean reserve fragrances like that warm skin one. That is one that I feel like I can spray like a body spray. Um, a, some of Juicy Couture's fragrances, I have to spray it like a body spray for it to last the way I want it to, to perform the way I want it to, to project the way I want it to. So this falls into that category. I don't know if I can spray as much of 1111 vanilla because of that musk. And I think it would be too much to just spray, spray, spray. But I would spray spray heavily but not at the max that sometimes I would spray because of that musk that signature musk but yeah if you like Dolce 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 by Rosie Rosie Jane if you like clean reserve warm skin if you like um glossier you if you like those fragrances that sit closer to the skin or more skin like that people think you smell good rather than oh you your perfume smells lovely because these are fragrances to me that sit closer to you and they really have to blend and mesh with your body chemistry all fragrances like i was talking to my friend at work today she she was she's looking for a signature scent so I asked her what she liked and took some of my fragrances for her to test out to see, you know, what, if any, she liked. She liked about six of six of the ones I brought. I brought 20. Y'all know I'm crazy. So she was like, um, where was I going with that? Y'all, I totally forgot the point I was trying to make. What in the world? I was talking about how it has to mesh with your body chemistry. So she's very new to perfume. She put the perfume on to test her strip. She loved it. I said, pick one that you think you is your favorite that you might want to go try to invest in. You need to put that one on your skin because the skin is the final ingredient to let you know if you're going to love fragrance. So she put it on her skin. She's like, oh my goodness, I don't really like it. Then she came back a little bit later. She said, oh, I'm liking it more. And then I had to break it down. Top notes, mid notes, base, what you smell first, longest, that you have to go through a fragrance. With 1111 Vanilla and Clean Skin Reserve Skin, Dolce by Rosie Jane, fragrances, Glossy AU, to me, they just, those are the type of fragrances, they don't change much. They kind of just mesh with you and you just, you smell good. 
but you don't smell perfumey. And you have to, if you don't know what I mean, sometimes somebody can smell good and you just smell clean and nice. And some people don't know, is that just the way you smell? Like with your, with your shower and your lotion? Or do you actually have perfume on? They can't tell. That's the kind of fragrance 1111 Vanilla is to me. And how I smell and interpret fragrances. That's what this gives me. So at this time, I don't feel like I'm gonna get a full bottle of this. When I wear it out and about, that may change and I'll give you an update in an empties video. But right now, I don't even, do I wanna wear this right now? I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, we're still in the 90s. I might, you know, put, add it in with a, a layering combo and see if my mind changes because I do like it. And I, but I just don't feel like there's a place for it in my collection because I have like clean skin, what a, Reserve Clean Skin or whatever it's called. I have Glossy AU. I am trying to decide, you all, if I want to invest in those two new Glossier perfumes to review for you all because they're online exclusives. And I feel like I owe it to you on my channel. But y'all, when you spend that much money, I'm just keeping it real, and you only get like a thousand views. <laughs> I mean, if you hear the garage, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I'm trying to weigh the cost. Is it worth it? Because I'm like fine without smelling them. I really, really am. But I had some people already asking me about them. So I'm trying to decide if I, I mean, I'm, this is a little tangent, but these companies coming out with two doggone perfumes at once. It's like, like everybody just rich. Like everybody's a one percenter. Just saying. So at this time, I don't feel like I'm going to get a full bottle of this, but I do like it. Um, I want to stress, I do like it. I, it's not a love yet. And I was saying that I have other fragrances in my collection that can kind of give me this vibe without me purchasing a full bottle of 1111 Vanilla at this time. Will that change? I'll let you know. Okay, now let's move on to Letta, the Discovery Set. Okay, y'all. I, this company, I meant to look it up her name, but it, I remember her. Stephanie, I, she was one of the people I watched all the time when I first started watching YouTube. And I, she just cracked me up. I liked her. She was like laid back real. She just, you know, I just liked her, her vibe. I really did. So when she came out with her first perfume, I think this has been a year, I think almost two years since she started this brand and i don't know i just it's only so much i can just buy all the time and at that time it was a full bottle and i was like oh my goodness girl i need to discover set of something because that's you know you know you just can't buy everything okay you have to live <laughs> you can't just be smelling good and got nowhere to, to lay your head <laughs> So, you know, I have to pick and choose where, where I'm buying. And I can't just buy, buy, buy every time you all request. So, I, somebody had mentioned this again. And I said, let me go look on her website. It's been a minute. Maybe, you know, she has more. And she did. Go on, girl. She has a discovery set. She has candles. She has, you know, three perfumes in the line. So, I said, okay, I'm going to get this discovery set. And I had to give it to her. This shipped, I think, the next day. Now, it, I didn't pay for expedited. Don't act like y'all don't know me. It came relatively quickly. A1 with that. Because I got companies like, aka, Bath and Body Works. They, they don't be shipping nothing quickly sometimes. At least where I live. I don't know. It's something about Texas, man. I don't be getting that stuff quickly like other people. Oh, my stuff just came. Mine. Processing. <laughs> I'm going to start, I think I want to start with, go backwards up to her last release, to her first release. So the latest release that um, she has in her line, and I feel like this is the one closest to the season, is Vanilla, Letta 18 Vanilla Nera, Nera, y'all probably can't see that. And this is described as an oriental floral 
fragrance for women that was released this year in 2024. It has top notes of ginger, pink pepper, and bergamot, middle notes of resins, alibanum, y'all, I don't know if I'm saying it right, uh, cardamom and floral bouquet, base notes of vanilla, patchouli, and musk. So based on these notes, I was like, girl, I don't know about this for Shaughnessy. Okay, and I have smelled this. I've tried it. I didn't try this on my skin because I know this is just too masculine for me. I mean, I might try it on. Oh, let me. Oh, I do not want to smell this. But I'm going to put it on my skin while I'm talking to y'all. So this reminds me of Eunice. Okay. Killian's Angels Share that type of fragrance dna some people pick up delicious cinnabon heaven i remember stephanie was the one i watched her review and her review convinced me to, to buy a full bottle of angel share i don't get that i get more of the masculine leaning on masculine boozy this to me is spicy that ginger that pepper uh it's like a Spicy, patchouli, musk. I call this masculine sweet. That's what I. That's how I categorize fragrances like this. I mean, on my skin, it's better, but I don't love it. Yeah, it just has that. It doesn't smell like Angel Share, and and also it smells familiar to me. Also, think of like Kayali, those vanilla fragrances that I can't even think of it because they, I, I didn't keep them. I gave it to my brother. Okay, like the wedding, what is it called? The man's, the groom, black velvet. I mean, think of how some fragrances from Kayali, what is that other one? Oh my goodness, and I gave it to him. I cannot think of that fragrance for the life of me. But I smelled it, and just like this, it's kind of choking me out a little bit. It smells good, but it is nothing I want to wear. Nothing. To me, this is more unisex, leading masculine. If, if you know the Kaoli fragrance says, it's something vanilla. And I was so excited, and it's in a gold bottle. It's straight gold. That is what this fragrance reminds me of. I, it finally came to me. That's what it reminds me of. And that's just not me. That's just not how I want to smell. Like, it does smell better on my skin. So I'm... It, on my skin, it's sweeter. But I still want to say vanilla. It's, it's, it's a sweeter, spicier patchouli scent. And I still don't love it on my skin, but I don't hate it. Like from the texture strip, I'm like, whoo, whoo, no. So I might try this one when it gets cooler. It's no way I could wear this and even attempt to enjoy it in October right now where I live. And it the high today was 95. I, I just can't do it. The, I'm, I'm willing to give this a try on my skin, but I know me. And I still feel like this is not going to be a love for me. I don't feel like I'm going to want a full bottle. I know I'm not going to want a full bottle of this. Even if I fall in love with it. No, because this is just, okay, I might can do this. That's what I'm getting smelling it on my skin. If I do a complete turnaround. I would be surprised. But I will say, as a woman, if you love the unisex type of fragrances, even though on Fragrance Code, I looked this up, it said a floral for women. To me, Letta 18 Vanilla Nera is totally unisex. And to my nose, on the texture strip, without my skin chemistry, to me, it leans more masculine for my taste. And remember, we all know the announcement I've said in previous videos about fragrance, wear what you want, do what you want, fragrance has no gender, and blah, 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 blah. 
I mean, I don't mean blah, 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 but y'all know. I don't feel like I should have to say that every time, but I do because somebody will, will come at me. So I have to say it every time, even though that is just my reviewing technique because that's what helps me. So I review how I would want someone to talk to me about a fragrance. So I feel like this is unisex. I feel like if you're the uh, type of woman who likes to more sultry, a little bit deeper, a little bit, you know, that's really not me often type of fragrances. If you prefer those richer type of fragrances, then I think you would enjoy Letta 18 Vanilla Nera. And of course, I will give you all an update, you know, when it's cooler and I, and I want to test this out and really, really wear it out in the elements, you know, my day to day. Cause your opinion can change on that. But from testing it in, in my house, I, I'm feeling like this is one that I'm gonna wear it out and then we'll see if I end up keeping it or just giving it to my brother because yeah I don't know I don't know I'm not loving this one so those are my thoughts on Letta 18 Vanilla Nera okay the next fragrance we're going to talk about is Letta 14 Al De Al Coco, okay? So this is described as a floral, fruity, unisex fragrance that was released in 2024, has top notes of mandarin, lemon, and calamans, calamans, yeah, I don't even know what I wrote. Cala, calamansi? Somebody will correct me in the comments. Middle notes of uh, Lang Lang, Jasmine Sambach, and Fig. Base notes of Black Tea, Coconut Milk, and Cedarwood. So let's see if I feel the same about this one. And I do. And, you know, I'm noticing her fragrances I'm liking better on my skin. As I'm, <laughs> as I'm smelling on the Chester strips. Because I tried all these on my skin. I like Letta 14 Al Coco. I like it. It is, it kind of, it gives me Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, but like with a tanginess that's missing. Because Soleil Blanc to me is straight. I know people go vacation, resort type of fragrance, and it is beachy upscale type of fragrance oh I, this is just fun in the sun but it still has a luxe vibe to me and what surprises me is that this is unisex but the one we just talked about letter 18 vanilla nera is not well it's not listed on fragrantica let me put it that way but i like this so if you like the fruity um beachy summery kind of heady intoxicating tropical floral vibes a little bit that's what this is and i like this on my skin more than the paper it smells sweeter and richer and fruitier i just really liked um letta 14 isla coco on my skin and i still like it from the paper the tester strip but i liked it better on my skin it, it was just so good that it's so good that I have a couple of summer fragrance mists I want to use up while it's still summer temperatures. And I might try to bust this out and see if I want to purchase a full bottle next summer for next summer. Because I thought about it. I said, oh, I want to, I want to purchase it right now. <laughs> but when I wore this and was testing it on my skin, I was like, okay, this is full bottle worth, worthy for me next year. I'm liking it that much for next summer. Oh, yeah. And it's nothing that's super unique. It's nothing that I can't exactly say it smells exactly like something else in my opinion, but it's just, it's just a good one. If you like the summer, like I, like I just described, heady, tropical, you know, that coconut milk comes out a little creaminess. It smells like a luxe grown up type of summer 
fragrance. It doesn't smell, and look, I wear Escada, but a lot of Escada, I'm not gonna say all, but a lot of Escada fragrances are very linear. They just stay the same, like the watermelon fragrance I have smells like watermelon candy. It's no complexity. They just smell good, simple, sweet, fun. This, on the other hand, is a complex type of summery fragrance, in my opinion, that I really do enjoy. And, oh, and I think I'm going to wear it tomorrow because I just finished up one uh, summer set that I was working on. And so I have to start a new one. And I think I'm going to start with the one I can wear this with and see if for sure I want to invest in a full bottle for next summer because it's leaning towards for sure, for sure. Okay, the last fragrance I want to talk about from Letta and that I've heard so much about and that people have requested me to review. This is Letta 22 Auris. This has notes, uh, well, this is described as an oriental floral fragrance for women. It was released last year in 2023. Has top notes of pear leaf, freesia, and pink pepper. Middle notes of orris, jasmine, and lily of the valley. Base notes of marshmallow, musk, moss, and sandalwood. So y'all know me, when this came out, the marshmallow got me, no, it got me immediately, okay? And I wanted to try it, but I was just, like I said, you know, you don't have money to get every little thing. Okay, this to me smells good. On my skin, I like it better. To me, this smells like a marshmallow, floral, sophisticated, womanly, feminine, classy, soft, elegant, powdery type of fragrance. When I sprayed this on my skin and tried it, I wanted a full bottle. That hasn't happened in a minute. Hadn't happened in a minute where I'm like, I want a full bottle. And I, I was waiting. I said, I'm, I'm going to wait a minute until I do this video and I wear this sample because I didn't want to come out here with an empty bottle. Y'all know how I spray. And I said, let me do this video first. I'm going to wear it and see if I'm ready to get a full bottle because I knew, you know, Kaoli six Silk Wedding Silk Sun Tall was coming and I figured I wanted a full bottle of that. So I was like, girl, just wait a minute. It's, it'll be there. It'll be there. I would say this might not be for everyone. Like right now on the tester strip, I'm getting a lot of that pear. I'm trying to think of a fragrance. I was trying to think of a fragrance I could compare this to. And I meant to check Fragrantica so I could see what they were saying. In my collection and from what I've smelled, I could not think of a fragrance to smell exactly like. To me, this is kind of... Okay, on the paper, it's kind of giving me Glossier U, but more, more delicate, more just softly, more of the femininity. Because Glossier U gives you clean, you just smell good. This Aura's 20, Letta Aura's 22 gives me clean, sweet, soft, delicate, it gives me a woman dressed in white and it's very elegant, very clean looking, very sharp, but has soft edges. You know, that, that's what it gives me. It, to me, it's like signature scent worthy. And it gets very, very mixed reviews. I, I feel like this is one, it really depends on your body chemistry and the way you interpret fragrance because it gets very mixed reviews. That's another reason why it, what it made me very hesitant to go ahead and drop the money for a full bottle without trying it first. But I love it right now. Um, I'm going to wear this one out. I, I don't know when. I'm going to wear it though. And then I will give you all an update in an empties video. Because 
I don't feel like I'm going to change my mind because I sprayed this on my skin and loved it. And like I said, that feeling of let me purchase a full bottle doesn't come often anymore because I have so many perfumes and I'm constantly adding like travel sprays or, of perfumes when I can, when they're available to review for you all. So it's just, it's not often I'm ready to get a full bottle of, of fragrance anymore. It just doesn't happen that often anymore. And it happened with Orange 22. So if this is how I would suggest purchasing any of the Letta fragrances, when it's online exclusives and you have to pay the money, I would always suggest getting the discovery set. I think this was 20, I think I paid in, in total because I didn't get free shipping because you know this wasn't enough to get free shipping. But I think after everything was said and done, it was still under $30. So I would say get the discovery set. I would also say if for some reason the discovery set is sold out and you just you just really want to try one of them go with the reviewer on whichever social media you look at fragrance reviewer that you agree with the most who smells and interprets fragrances like you like i said before and some people i watch we have totally different tastes i just watch to support or because I like their personality. And sometimes I watch people who are told who have totally different tastes than me to see if it's something I may would like. <laughs> so you just that's what I would say. Go with the want, go with the review of these fragrances, the reviewer who you mostly agree with. And that's your best shot. If for some reason maybe you don't want it. I know some people don't like paying for samples. I get that. But when it is an online exclusive and they offer you the cheap a cheaper alternative to try all the fragrances before you drop all the money i all go with the discovery set and see which one actually works for you so for me it was two out of the three because i'm smelling this um letta 18 vanilla nera as i'm moving my hand because i spray it on this hand and it's just not it's not doing it for me but i'm gonna wait till it's cooler and see if I change my mind. But the Letta Auras 22 and the Letta 14 Isla Coco, I am impressed. And I and the Auras 22, like that's year round for me. You know what it reminds me of? Doesn't smell like it. The Tom Ford Sole Neige. I find it, I knew that's what it reminds me of. Orange 22 does because to me that's a year-round fragrance it's elegant to me it could be um, a signature scent it's so good to me that is the vibe I get from Letta 22 Orange 22 it's the same vibe I get from Tom Ford Soleil Neige so there you go that was driving me crazy that is what it, it gives me vibes of and that's probably why i love it so much because you know y'all know i love me some time for soul and age okay so if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on lake and sky 1111 vanilla let me know your thoughts on the letta fragrances if you've tried them let's just talk about it in the comments because i'd love to know you all's thoughts please share this video with everyone you all because what we're trying to do we still trying to keep it growing in 2024 and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye